Jeff Rankin, the editorial director for pharmaceutical processing. We're wrapping up day two at Interfex. We're joined by Max Blomberg from Meissner Filtration Products and Russ Soma, president of Soma Tech. Guys, we wrapped it up. You know, Russ, you were here leading the Interfex Live conversations. Max, you were in the Meissner booth. I was out kind of on the show floor as well talking to folks. One of the things that I heard people talking a lot about was serialization. A lot of the uh, legislative and regulatory things that are hitting this summer, people are talking about it. And there's a lot of product technology going into it, a lot of concerns about the packaging that's going to be going out this summer. Um, it was interesting to see a lot of the solutions from the product level that people are looking at and looking to integrate. Russ, what were some of the things you heard people talking about up here today? A lot of conversations today, Jeff. I mean, some of the stuff we've seen was not only the newer things, but people revisiting some of the older stuff. Uh, Elizabeth Carbide came in here and review, renewed everybody's knowledge of using tablet tooling for product identification. Yeah. Maybe a dated, but a definitely reliable, reliable way of maintaining brand identification. Absolutely. A lot of conversations going on. That's something I noted too, Jeff. A lot of excitement today. People talking a lot yeah. after the sessions. Absolutely. What about in the Meister booth, Max? What were they talking about? It's, first of all, it's, it's been a great show so far. Yeah. It, it, it seems great. Um, uh, I think a, in the Meister booth, uh, the theme we're noticing, and as I've been walking around a little bit as well, is a really maturation of single-use system. Sure. Um, you know, no longer is the question, hey, do you guys make bags? Uh, uh, it's really, you know, uh, advanced beyond that to uh, uh, what does your supply chain look like? What sort of security of supply chain can you offer? Um, uh, and, and we're starting to see automation and single-use systems be uh, combined in ways that they, they haven't been in years past. Uh, and and that's, that's been really exciting. Um, I think yeah, single-use systems kind of diverged from automation uh, in some of their earlier implementation, and to see that coming back together um, uh, is, is great. Absolutely. John, yeah, on, on that, I got to say, Jeff, we had a fellow here from uh, Sebastian from uh, Merck Millipore and told us how they changed their entire plan over from you know stainless steel to single use and maintain the stainless facility just so they can compare results on the, on the plan, on the single use stuff. So a lot of stuff, a lot of a lot of interest in that. I was surprised. A lot of people there. So yeah. Yeah, it's 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 been great. The uh, uh, kind of coming full circle to your point about uh, uh, serialization. Um, you know, we're starting to see single use get into more and more applications, no longer just buffer and media hold. So now we're seeing uh, a lot of final fill and finish assemblies. Um, you know, so the serialization, we're kind of upstream from that typically in, the, in, in process. Uh, uh, but as, you know, serial numbers are applied to specific products, the data associated with that serial number is only as good as your data you're collecting upstream in your Absolutely. process. Um, uh, so, you know, we've got a, a single use filling assembly on, uh, at our booth and, and we're serializing that so that we understand every component of that, and it's not just a lot number, uh, so that if you have a serial number of, uh, uh, you know, for these regulations that are pending, of a, of a final container closure, you can look all the way upstream and, uh, and really understand exactly when into the process to make that. To make that so. yeah. Absolutely, with, with a lot of regulatory elements driving a lot of this implementation, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see not only how well the pharmaceutical industry adapts, but what they do with all this other data that they're going to be garnering uh, along the way. So it should be an interesting, uh, interesting uh, path to take. Definitely. As we look to tomorrow, day three, final uh, day of Interfex, I'm looking forward to maybe getting over to that 3D printing booth. Finally, it's gotten a lot of buzz, a lot of attention at the show floor. That's for sure. What about you guys, Max? What are you, what are you looking forward to tomorrow? Um, I'm looking forward to you know some more great conversations. But uh, uh, on a personal level, I really want to get over to the poster hall. Uh, there there yeah. seems to be some some cool uh, or some very interesting or intriguing uh, uh, topics over there in the poster hall that I've, I've been wanting to visit. Excellent. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to be talking to Mike Velazza from Catalan, and uh, one of the things I think is I'm interested in hearing is uh, big buzz about, you know, maintaining my IP, even though I'm shopping this stuff around. A lot of conversation here. We had Dave and Bill here from Sutherland, uh, the law firm. They talked about it. I think bottom line is it's all about, you know, people seeing it, learning about it, and procuring it. I mean, that's the mantra here. Absolutely. Anyway, it's been a good day. Excellent. Well, that's going to put a cap on day two. We'll look forward to day three tomorrow. All right. Thanks, guys. Perfect. Good job, man.